Hello Recruit and welcome to Battlefield Live. Battlefield Live is an authentic combat entertainment experience using sophisticated infrared gaming guns. I am your CO, that's commanding officer but you can call me Siren. Now there is a chain of command here at Battlefield Live and you will follow my orders. Each gaming gun comes with three infrared sensors. The first one is mounted on the gun and the other two are mounted on the headband. Now the headband goes over your hat and the sensor cable is located at the back of the headband and runs down under the arm. The sensors must stay on your head at all times during the entire simulation, even when you're dead. Each gaming gun comes with a harmless infrared beam, just like the one on your TV remote control. Now this beam is tightly focused, so you will have to aim. Aim straight for your opponent's head, or if you can only see his gun, then aim straight for the barrel. First, safety. Battlefield Live is a non-contact game. You should be at least one meter away from everyone else at all times, this includes your teammates. The gaming guns have excellent range so you don't need to get too close. Do not grab the other player's gaming gun. Everyone is to stay on the ground. No climbing. The most significant safety hazard is falling over. While you are running around, always watch where you are going. If you are indoors, there is a no running rule. When you are turning corners make sure you look where you are going. Next, I am going to explain the gaming gun. When you start each mission, you will have 100 health, this is shown on the top left hand side of your display. When this reaches zero you are dead. You can be hit on the head sensors or the sensor on the gaming gun. The head sensor is a little easier to hit and you get a head shot damage bonus, however if you can only see the gaming gun aim for the sensor on it. When you get shot, your gaming gun will let you know. If you've been hit it will either make a whizzing noise or say a death scream means you're now dead. If you're not sure you're dead, pull the trigger the gaming gun. Your gaming gun will helpfully say you're dead. When you're dead, go to the utility box in your base. Or, if you are playing Battle Royale, go to the HQ and wait for the next game. Your base is where you started from. There will be a utility box there. It will respawn you. If you're not sure if you have respawned, check your screen, it will say ready if you have been respawned. All other boxes including supply crates and the other team's medic box will not respawn you, only the box in your base will work. When you shoot another player you'll hear several different sounds from your gaming gun, and wound. Mean you have shot them, kill, means you have killed them. If there are supply crates on the field, you might hear ricochet, which means you have damaged the other player's shields. I'm now going to cover cheating. The most important thing you need to know is that you don't cheat. It ruins the game for everyone else. There are two cheats in this game. The first is moving any of the boxes. Don't move the boxes. Not only is it cheating, but it annoys all the other players because they don't know where the box is now. The second cheat is covering your sensors. Don't put your hand in front or on any sensors. Head sensors are not to be put in your pocket, sat on or put under your hat. This has been your basic briefing. Play the mission briefing to find out how to play that mission. If you are using a supply crate, play that as well. Now you're ready for active duty.